Welcome back to another episode of Jibber Jab Reviews. In today's show, I wanted to provide you guys with some information about the performance issues that have been affecting many users, including my own viewers, since they installed the recent Tizen 3.0 update. Now let me just say that I don't have a silver bullet to resolve all the possible issues you may be experiencing, but I will offer one option, which I have done, and I've seen some positive results with. I would also love to hear more about your experiences and any issues you've encountered since the upgrade and if you were able to try anything that helped as well. Okay, now I'm going to share some information about the issues users have experienced since the upgrade. I've been reading a number of Gear S3 forums and the main issue among users seems to be revolved around a significant decrease in the battery performance compared to the previous Tizen version. And I'm going to post some of the comments I've been seeing above just so you can see the frustration that many users are going through. Now personally, I've also experienced a decrease. At most I was able to get one full day, whereas before I would get two full days, and that's without changing any of the functionality and ensuring my heart rate monitor was also disabled. In addition to the battery performance issue, I've also read in other forums that users have experienced performance issues including lags when using apps, custom watch faces that are not loading or crashing when they are launched, freezing of screens, and issues with information syncing from the phone to the watch. According to some reports, the glitches associated with the watch faces may be due to the change in the programming as most developers haven't updated their watch faces to the latest version. Developers have also complained about issues with using the Gear Manager app and the Gear Watch Designer tool. Now the only relief I have found personally and that has had some positive results for others is to do a factory reset of your S3. You can back up all your data beforehand and then do a restore after the reset or you can just do a factory reset and start installing your apps again. In a previous video I did recently I cover how to do both an active and a hard reset so if you're interested in going this route then click on the link above for more information. But I still want to caution you that this may not resolve all the issues and even among those that downloaded the update, it appears different issues are affecting different users. Nevertheless, I did notice some minor improvements to both my battery life and using the custom watch faces, so I still think it's a worthwhile try until Samsung releases another update to fix some of these random bugs. And yes, Samsung is aware of these issues and responded by saying that a fix is on the way. Unfortunately, they did not give any timeline as to when the update will be released. When I hear more information, I will definitely pass it along to you guys. Okay, that's all the information I have for now. I would love to hear if you've experienced any issues since the update and also how it has affected your S3. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.